Alright guys, this is Sam coming at you with six reviews. And I was tagged by Christian at Sneaker Talk to do a closet confidential tag. I was able to look through my closet and I realized there's so many things that one, I'm not wearing, two, that I need to get rid of, and three, like I should be wearing them because I forgot I even had them in my closet. So thank you, Christian, for that. This is my closet confidential tag. What is the oldest item in your wardrobe? Right away, I knew what I was gonna take because this was probably the oldest one. It's this Nike windbreaker that I got at the Nike outlet in Niagara Falls when it first opened up. I probably got this when I was in grade nine? Grade nine or 10. So that's probably, that's, that's like 13, 15 years ago, okay? And this is one of those things that I think I could wear again. Like this jacket is about 15 years old. Man, I love it though. I was gonna give it away, I was gonna donate it, but no, I can't do it, I can't do it. But this is my oldest thing in my closet. This is older than probably some of you viewers watching this. This is about 15 years old. Dang. What is the newest thing in my closet? Boom, the Steph Curry Under Armour 2s, and these are gonna be my new basketball shoes. I'm gonna try them out, I'll give you guys a review of them, but they are nice looking. I love the colorway, they're available at all for locker champs. They still have probably full size runs, but I need to get this. What is the most expensive item in my closet? It is the all red Balenciaga Arenas. Now, I have yet to wear these, and they're just, the dead stock brand new. As an Asian guy, I don't think I can pull this off. I bought them because I was able to get it for 50% off, so maybe this isn't the most expensive thing in my closet, but at regular retail price, this is probably one of the more expensive things I do have in my closet. The Balenciaga, the Balenciaga, the Balenciaga Arenas Rouge. What is, what is the cheapest or most affordable item that you use a lot? Now this one might be a boring answer for some of you guys. I couldn't think of anything cheaper than a simple, plain, white t-shirt. Now if you guys don't have a white t-shirt, simple plain white t-shirts, go get one. You need one. Champ Sports just recently got the long tees and you can never go wrong with just a white tee because you can wear it under something, you can just wear it with jeans. It's just a classic thing. I probably wear a white tee at least three times, four times a week. A white t-shirt, guys. Keep it simple. Black t-shirt, keep it simple. Olive. Military green olive t-shirt, keep it simple. Just get them, wear them. No need to get all these crazy designs on it. So what are three of my favorite items right now? First one is, let me stand up for this. It's a varsity jacket from Gap and John Elliott. John Elliott and Gap, they did a collaboration. This varsity jacket I got as a steal, as a package deal for about 50 bucks. And it is fall right now, so definitely in the top three of what I'll be wearing this fall. Another item that I do think is in my top three right now, it's a shoe. It is the ATC Wimbledons. Now, I got these at the Nike outlet for about 90, 90 bucks Canadian. I used to play tennis growing up competitively and the Wimbledon with the tennis ball on the sole is great. These are actually super comfortable shoes too, but they do make my feet sweat and that is kind of annoying. Last favorite item, I'm wearing it right now. People are gonna be confused because I am from Toronto and I do rep the six and it is called Six Reviews, but you can't go wrong with just a simple New York hat. I'll take it off and I'll show you, oh my God, what's wrong with my hair? Just a simple New York Yankees hat. It's classic, it's timeless, but I still do rep the six, I still do rep Toronto. You'll see my Raptors hat right here, and you'll see my Blue Jays hat right there. Sucks that we lost, but we're coming back next year. Go Blue Jays, go. What is the most outrageous or colorful item in your closet? I don't have anything outrageous because I do like to keep things fairly simple, but the most colorful item in my closet would be, boom, the multi fly knit color trainers. But these are the most colorful things in my closet. So for my pair, I think I paid about $70 Canadian after the 30% off on the hashtag wall. It is the most comfortable item in your closet. And I'll bring two things out, but first things first, I'm the realist. Sorry, that was stupid. The Adidas Ultra Boost. This shoe is the most comfortable thing you'll ever put on your feet. I love them. I actually got these for a steal again. I got these for about 100 basically 120 bucks. Most comfortable shoe you'll ever wear. It's the Adidas Ultra Boost. After that, the most comfortable item period, just like clothing wise, is Nike Tech Fleece. Guys, I own so much Tech Fleece right now. I have this sweater in about three or four different colors. I have the Tech Fleece crew jacket in a few different colors, and then I have the, the pants. I have the sweatpants. People ask me, like, you know, is Tech Fleece worth the price tag? No, it is not worth the price tag at full price. A lot of these sweaters I got at the Nike outlet for about 50 bucks, and then I, I also work at Champs and Foot Locker, so 
I get, a, I get it off at discount price. It is worth it if you're able to get it on discount, but if you're gonna pay full retail, it, it really isn't worth it, I don't think. But I love my tech fleas. What is my favorite black and white item? It is in this picture right now. If you look over my right shoulder, whoo, 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 the Kobe 9. Beethoven. This shoe, I think it is the sexiest shoe. This is the shoe that really got me back into the sneaker games, the Kobe 9s, and this colorway just kills it. So where do I shop at most? So most of my clothes shopping, um, lately it has been H&M. I'm not a huge fan of H&M because you know, the quality is not the best. H&M does keep up with the trends and it is at a fair price. I think an underrated clothing company is Scotch and Soda, but if I could call TSG a clothing store, Toronto Shoe Game has helped me out in picking up a lot of my new shoes. So it's not a store, but it's where I pick up most of my stuff. So yeah, guys, that's my closet confidential tag. Shout out to Christian for tagging me. And yeah, I'll be one of your internet friends. That sounds weird if you didn't watch his video, then that sounds pretty weird. Go check out Christian at Sneaker Talk. He puts out a lot of dope content. Just click that thumbnail that right there. Give that thumbs up. If you can give us a comment anything, just say hi, Sam, or this is my favorite item. The one person I do want to take is Jacob from Jacob's Journey. Jacob's from Jacob's Journey. Please do this. If you guys can, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Sam from Six Reviews. We out!